Well, welcome back to Digger Detecting, everybody. Welcome also to the middle of the bush. As you can see, we are absolutely surrounded by it. And the reason why we're in here today is because there used to be an old school site in here somewhere, and I don't know exactly where. It's about a three or four acre bush block today. And as you can see, it's well overgrown. Uh, the first thing that caught my eye here walking in, though, it was the little bottle over there, and he's not that old. Uh, but swinging the detector away uh, as well, we happen to get a nice signal, a 44, 45 on the Equinox 900 and look at that we've got our first belt buckle uh, so I dare say this is related to the old school and I dare say uh, we're on the money already and I reckon we're going to snag a few coins in amongst all this uh, or well all the bush here and all the undergrowth so look at it it's just um well it needs a good clean up doesn't it? it needs a fire to come through here so let's bag little buckle I was just looking through there we've got a, uh, a pine tree in front of us another big pine tree over the back there it's very hard to see and the light keeps coming through the trees hitting the camera sorry there uh, but look we're going to walk over to that next and check it out uh, we've snagged little belt buckle as I said we're in the bush today mucking around see if we can't touch on a little bit of that old school history we'll see how we go all right well, we've just walked forward into this next clear section after the little belt buckle there and can you see what i'm spotting straight away that is a huge old pine tree in front of us that's definitely got to be attached to the school and there's another pine tree right in front of us here this one behind the little little skinny one here uh, this big one going up he's not quite as big as the one over there uh, but look once again attached to the school and there's a few more at the back there plus you've got a heap of these bulbs I mean, they just didn't get here by um, by accident. You can see there, you've got elephant ears, bulbs, and uh, look, you've got everything going on. I'm, I'm just looking for a few bricks and whatnot, and I think I may have found part of a brick. But not only that, check this out. Where is he? Glass. So there we go. That's got to be an old sauce bottle, and he's got to be related to the old school, I dare say. He's got that um, octagonal uh, look about him, so I dare say an old sauce bottle. We did have more of it here bit of a dumping off anyway and you can hear I'm not far from the road too so this is sort of like a corner allotment uh, with the old school sitting on the corner there so very cool very cool we've got a belt buckle we've got glass we've got bulbs we've got old pine trees I tell you what we're in the right spot we're gonna be on the money today let's keep going alrighty so that was not hard at all we've just walked on from the glass over there and listen to this that could be our first coin that could be a penny. That's what I really want to see. I don't care what sort of coin it is. I just want to see a coin come from this site. Because I've read quite a bit of history about this site over the years. And look, it's a good hour or so from home for me. I like a lot of my sites that I've researched. I just have not got there yet. I've researched them. I just have not um, followed up on them because I've got so much going on around home. So, <gasps> no, not a coin. That's still really good to see though. So once again, we just found the Rosella, a sauce bottle uh, glass over there. And look at that. Now we've got the lid, the Rosella sauce lid. So that's really painting that picture. There is a tennis courts not far away. And I do believe the tennis courts have come a lot later after the school building was demolished because the school uh, you know, was here from the 1880s. Uh, and then the tennis courts there, well, they would have been plonked here a lot later, uh, probably about the 1940s, 50s once again after the school shut down and was consolidated to a bigger school in the area so look very very interesting 1880s 1940s all we should be touching on here uh, is the old rosella sauce lids plus coins let's keep going all right well, once again we literally walked two steps forward and look at that we uh, we hit a target a uh, very shallow target obviously you can see how shallow he was we got an old coke bottle very very cool i think that's what it is Red lid, yes it is. Coca-Cola, future ball, look under the cap. I don't know how old he is. Don't think he's, well look, he's probably 70s, 80s. So let's just sit him there for now. I'm not gonna put him in the pouch. We are uh, gonna keep humming around this area. We've got a lot of work to do. Let's show you um, some of the trees and let's show you some of the area a little bit around here though. So this massive old tree that's fallen down and I don't quite know what it, uh, what it was don't think it was a pine but then look at this big stonker it's just crazy I'm just watching for snakes too in here because it's 30 degrees today you don't know it in here you wouldn't feel it in here but it is 30 degrees today warming up too so 
we're going to keep our eye out for snakes. Look at this pine tree. Now pines are not native to Australia. Uh, they're native to South America from memory. So this pine tree would have had to have been planted here by someone at some stage. And judging by the size of it, I dare say dating to the school, 1880, thereabout. So look, a little bit of glass. As the trees grow, they push up the dirt and push up the glass. So always check around the bases. Paints that bit of a picture as what's going on at the site. There's the road right there. So anyway, let's keep going. Back on the detector. See if we can't paint that little bit more picture of this old school. Well, it's always the ones that you don't bloody film, isn't it? Look at that. We've just got our first coin buster and that is a little half rue penny. Isn't that amazing? So we've got the bottle top there. Uh, we've got the Coke bottle over there, which I'm still yet to go back and grab. And then we walked off and checked out the big old pine tree and we sort of come back into this little clearing. Uh, I just went back over near the same spot where I got the bottle top there and bingo, out pops a penny. I thought it was gonna be another bottle top. That's why I didn't film it. But there we go, our first little coin for this site. And he's gonna be dating around the 40s or 50s. So awesome stuff, that is awesome. I dare say probably one of the last coins to be dropped at this site before the, uh, the school consolidated, as I said, and shifted on down the road. So there we go, 19 something, I'm not even gonna pretend to be able to read that. There we go, 19 something, I don't know, but he's a rue penny, so he's gotta be, as I said, late 30s, 40s, 50s, even up into the 60s, but I dare say he'll be around the 50s. So let's keep going, Oop, turn the pinpointer back off. And look, I'm going to go back around here. There is a bit of a clearing as we work our way around. And then look, as we get into the next area, there's another clearing. So I wonder what's hiding in those two clearings. And to be honest, I still don't know exactly where the school was uh, just yet. I think it's going to be further that way, as I said, in those next two clearings. I think what we're touching on here is just a little bit of the dumping area. So let's keep going. Let's see how we go in the next two areas. I'll oh, just something quickly I'll show there guys. Today I am chasing all the signals so I have the horseshoe button on. If I was to take the horseshoe button off, uh, we see that we're digging from 50 through to 99 there and that is generally my cherry picking setup uh, just to hit on and hone down in all the good coins at all the trashy sites. But today really what I'm doing is listening to everything with the horseshoe button on, hearing all those targets, whether they be rust or alloy, bottle tops, whatever it be. And that's really gonna help me hone in on where I need to be today. And basically understand where the most trashiest sites are is probably more where likely the school was. So as I said, put the horseshoe button on, listen to everything. And you just never know what you're going to come out with because I've been hearing a lot of grunty tones and they're sort of leading me on to the higher signals, you know, where there's trash, there is treasure. So let's dig this next one out. He's a 55. So that's getting me quite excited because that could be another coin, but it could be a little silver this time, a little thripper or sixpence. So let's have a bit of a look. So yeah, horseshoe button on when you're chasing down where the occupation was because even if it's rusty nails, it's going to lead you on to the coins. You need to be able to hear it all. So let's have a look. We've dug a few bits of rubbish so far. And a little penny. Let's hope we can get another nice coin out. But that's not it. That's a bit of lead. It's a bit of folded up lead. But once again, related to the old school, so these are the sort of pieces I want to find. And as I said, it's like a Hansel and Gretel trail. It's going to lead me on to the next one. Lead me on to that next coin or the next belt buckle. Let's see how we do. Well, I tell you, it's starting to warm up and I am watching out for snakes. However, it is quite a nice spot to be in amongst the trees here. And we've got some big cracker trees beside us, especially those gum trees poking out there. You can see they're just beautiful. So let's give this next one a dig. We've got a target underneath the little bush here. Sounds good once again. Sounds like a little half penny should, or even a silver. Now he's, um, now he's on the surface. Moving all that leaf cover. I've probably got a couple of inches of leaf cover there. Now we're going to be able to hit on him a lot easier with the pinpointer. Let's have a look. Okay, might be bigger than a coin. <laughs> there he is. I've right, still got the bottle attached too. Another Rosella sauce bottle. So there we go. Half a one. A broken one. But there we go. That's, uh, well, actually, that's not a Rosella sauce. 
Kia Aura cordial bottle. Look out, the school had cordial. So really cool. Kia Aura bottle, cordial bottle. As I said, those sort of pieces are gonna lead us onto the coins. And we've already snagged one and a little belt buckle. And we just need to see if we can snag a few more as we go. Well, we got our next signal. And uh, to be honest, I think we're doing pretty good to find them because I'm sort of humming around through all this real dense bush, all, uh, all the undergrowth. And it's pretty hard going, I tell you. There's a lot of spider webs that I'm walking through too. So I'm wiping my face every two seconds. How are we finding these coins in amongst all this rubbish? <laughs> yes, another half penny. Isn't that awesome? As I said, I'm wiping my face every two seconds, trying to get rid of all the spider webs and, and uh, look, just trying to knock through all the, uh, all the undergrowth, trying to get these uh, targets. And they're very few and far between, I tell you. But when we're hitting them, they sound good. Let's have a look. I have to go back to work tomorrow and I don't want to. Urgh, I could be out here digging again. That's a Commonwealth. That is a Commonwealth. So what we're seeing there is an earlier penny than what we got before. Let's hold him out in the sunlight. It's very hard. Tell you what, it's a nice spot to hibernate on a 30 degree day though. So I don't know what date he's going to be. Very hard to see. But it's definitely a Commonwealth. We can see the ring around the edge and it would have said Commonwealth or will say Commonwealth of Australia around the outside. So that is just awesome. Another little half penny. It's not our silver, but look, I was coming out here today just to have a bit of fun, I hibernate from the, the heat, 30 degrees as I said. So a good shady spot to detect was perfect for me today, and this be it. So it didn't really matter what I found. I was just sort of coming out here on a bit of a, a recon mission, you know. As I said, I've had this site uh, mapped out for a couple of years now. So I really wanted to get out here and check it out. I've been uh, been itching to for years, and I'm having a lot of fun doing so. So let's keep going, see if we can't get bitten by a snake, find a few more coins. All right, well, next tight squeeze, but next target. Check this one out. Let's have a look. 55, 56. Could be another coin. Oh, no, don't check anything out, it's gone. <laughs> Is he in here? Oh, I didn't think so. He's still in the hole. Let's hope it's a coin. I just hit a heap of, um... Oh, I was off target there. I just hit a heap of rust as I was coming down through this little section here, uh, detecting along, and uh, after I got through the rust, Look at the birds playing. How cool is that? They didn't even see me. Look at them chasing each other. One's probably got a worm. He's like, give it back, it's mine. I found it. That was awesome. Things like that detecting, you know, you just, you can't get anywhere else. Like you, you couldn't uh, make that stuff up if you tried. It just happens naturally when you're out detecting. Little things like that that I love. What do we got? It's not a coin. What is it? A button? Bit of rust. He was ringing up nice. Better not hold him in that hand. The watch is in that hand. So listen. What are you? Interesting piece. Not something I can ID right now anyway. So he goes in the pouch. He goes in the tumbler when we get home. Let's keep going. I've got a bit more of a clear section behind me. We're going to continue to work. And it sort of drops down the hill there. And what I'll do later is I'll throw up a map of the area that I'm walking around in from the 19, well, the 1940s, mid 1940s. And you'll be able to see, well, you'll be able to see not much really, but you'll be able to see it's all black and white and a bit grainy. But you will be able to see those pine trees that we spotted up the top there near the road. We're, we're a fair way down the back of the bush block now. So I hope I don't get lost. But you will be able to spot some of those uh, big old trees and they stand out. Uh, they're very uh, dark in colour and they stand out compared to the rest of the trees around them. The rest of the bush that we're walking through right now, the gum trees, what have you. So they're not natural. They don't look natural and you'll be able to see that on the map. Alrighty guys, so the mission today was get into the bush here, find the old school site possibly, and possibly hit on a coin or two. Well we've done that so far, we've got a little belt buckle, uh, we've got two pennies, so I've exceeded my expectations thus far. And look, as you see, it's a pretty hard area to work. We've got a bit of a jungle going on here, uh, with just little, uh, little clearings in between that we're working and what we can work. So what I said before though is that, uh, look, it's always the ones that you don't film, it turns out to be the best targets and as you can see there 
I think we just got our little silver coin buster. He was not a deep target. That's why I did not film him. And we've been humming around. Oh, it is too. We've been humming around a very trashy area. So there we go. We've got a little sixpence. A little thrippence, sorry. I'm getting that excited. I'm mucking it up. So there we go. And he's a wheat thrippence. Oh, something earlier would be nice. We've got a com. We've got a roo penny. But now we've got a wheat thrippence. And look, it is a silver. So I can't complain at all. Because I did not expect. Well, I did not expect even a coin to come out today you know i just sort of thought we'll come down here for a bit of fun hibernate in the sun because it's a really hot day it's starting to even heat up in the bush here i can't uh, can't put him down properly i'll just pick him up so 1942 by the looks so look i did not expect a coin let alone a silver coin to come out of here today uh, so that is just magnificent and look we've still got a lot of ground to cover i know it's hard to get in amongst all this sort of stuff and i've got that many spiders and cobwebs all over my shoulder it's not funny uh, but look uh, we're still going to keep going for a bit longer i uh, i'm not ready to give up just yet I've, i'm having a lot of fun and it is still a lot cooler in here in the bush than what it is out there which we'll give you a look at, uh, at a little bit later I'm getting my words confused i'm that excited so let's keep going and we are going to show you that map in a in a, um, a further clip as we go on through the bush well how cool was that little thrippence hey i'm still buzzing off it finding that little guy uh, but look finding little thrippence right there we did just walk back about uh, well a meter uh, back to that last signal that we hummed over and we just walked straight past and he was an 18 and a 19 that's the reason why i didn't dig him because it's such a low number and it's normally a number that i would not dig unless i was in the gold fields uh, chasing all those wonderful old relics uh, but look uh, we dug it anyway just to see what it was whoops we're dropping him and there we go we've got an old spoon how cool is that and so once again related to the old school here and once again a wonderful little find for us to keep and save for future and we know it come from this site and we can paint that picture as i said we're painting that picture of the old school here and the kids running around and there it is right there so awesome little find let's bag him snag him get you on to the next all right well it's really warming up and uh just while we do this next clip I'm going to show you basically the old map that we've got to uh, to share and show and what we've been going off researching this old property. Look at that gum tree, isn't it magnificent? Uh, so I'll throw the map up the top left corner there and you'll be able to check it out. Uh, you'll see a little black and white image, well, the black and white grainy image that you can see. Uh, you can see those darker trees though, uh, sort of uh, off into the corner here. The darker trees are indicating those pine trees that we've seen before up leading up along the road, along the roadside there. So, and the school would not have been far off the road. I am kind of down the back paddock a bit at the moment, but I'm just sort of keeping my eye out for any more pine trees or any more indication of occupation from the old school here. And I can see straight away some elephant ear bulbs there. Let's go and have a bit of a look. I'm just sort of thinking too, how cool would it have been uh, for, you know, a primary school kid had to come out here and go to school here. Wouldn't it have just been amazing? Like running through the bush here, you know, I went to a, a, a little country school and running through the bush here, uh, we used to, well, bracken fern here. We used to pick the bracken fern out like that and we used to shear off the, uh, the leaves there a little bit and we used to make arrows and spears and, you know, spear each other as kids and like we used to have a lot of fun. So I could just imagine what the kids did out here. I mean, this, this, um, this school is right in the depths of, well, the depths of the bush. Our school wasn't quite like this. We did have a bush block uh, like this. You know, we had a bit of a walking trail that went through the bush, uh, but um, not like this, not as thick. So there we go, there's the elephant ears, and they would have had to have been uh, either thrown down here or planted down here once again uh, by the old school. So something related to the school anyway. We've still got a bit more area to, to detect around here too. And look at that, I've got my uh, snake gators on as you can see. So I'm very well protected from snakes. They're in the boot of the car. I should really have them on. So a bit more of a clearing area around here and you can see the um, the tennis courts right there, uh, the ring lock mesh from the tennis courts. And that's sort of where I walked my way down. I sort of walked my way down here and that's where I started. And I'll just spin you back around. I just sort of followed that trail and went up through there. So look, let's get back to the detector. You've seen the map now. There's not that much to see. But it's enough to go off, you know, if you know how to indicate these places or locate these places, it's enough to go off and it's enough to understand uh, basically that it was something here, you know, you can confirm that yes, uh, there was something there and it's worthwhile taking the detector out for a swing. Let's get rid of that thistle. I don't like thistles. So look, well worth doing your research. I know it's hard. I know it's time consuming. Uh, I quite, I quite enjoy it and I think it's part of, you know, half of everything we do as detectorists. 
and it lets you touch on these sites. You know, we would not got those two little thrippence, uh, two little pennies. We would not got that thrippence, and we've not had the uh, we would not have had the enjoyable morning that we've had so far. So let's keep going. That gum tree is a ripper, I tell you. So let's keep going. See what else we can find uh, before it gets too hot. Oh, well, I just come across a heap of signals there, and they're leading me down to yeah, just as I thought, leading me down to a whole heap of modern rubbish. That's just, look, some people are unreal. I hate seeing this, and I'm sure a lot of you watching think the same, and have seen it all before as well. It's not good, it's not good. I do have an old bottle there though. Kind of old, maybe, Dexel, I dare say. So yeah, not good. That's definitely modern rubbish though, cans and Gatorade bottles. I mean, Gatorade bottles weren't around in the 1880s. So, but look, we might have a bit more of a dumping area going on here from the school. I mean, that looks maybe like a little ink bottle. Maybe. It is too. He's got a little triangle on him. So he's a pinnacle. Pinnacle ink bottle. So maybe come a little bit later. What is that? Oh, it's a kangaroo. See that? There's something smashing through the bush there. So let's see if we can follow him. Because this is where they would have dumped all their rubbish. Oh, we're getting a bit sketchy down here. I don't like snakes. I'm wary of snakes. Not scared of them. I'm just wary of them. Especially some of the places I go and take you I take you in video. I tell you what, some of them are pretty sketchy. Under houses, out in amongst the rocks, out in the bush, chasing kangaroos. Where'd you go? He'd be sitting off down there watching me. So I probably disturbed him. Probably um taking a bit of shelter under a shady tree because it is getting hot oh look at that it's like a cowlick on my arm it's extremely hot let's keep going we will poke around here just quickly though see if we can't locate another couple of old bottles because there is a bit of old mixed in with new and i don't know why maybe they've just dumped on top of the old school dump so which is not okay back in the day the schools would do it there was no EPA, was there? There was no regulations. No one to come along and say that you, you couldn't do it. Well, now today there is. So there's no excuse. So anyway, let's keep going. See what else we can locate. All right, well, hang on a minute. I might take that back. I might extract that statement that uh, I made in that last clip. And I would have deleted it and just started again. But how cool was that kangaroo? <laughs> oh, dear. So look, what I said there a second ago was... Um, we may have had a bit of dumping off, you know, but um, it just found it strange, you know. I thought, well, when I seen the rubbish, the Gatorade bottle, I thought, and that, I thought, well, obviously someone's made their way down the back here and dumped off rubbish out of sight, out of mind, <laughs> uh, trying to uh, save a bit of money going to the local tip instead. But look, that's, uh, I mean, that's a pretty modern bottle there, the Gatorade, and we've got cans and what have you all around us. I think I'm wrong, though. I think uh, it wasn't someone coming down here dumping off after the fact because it is a fair way down the uh, the back of the block. Look at that, we're actually touching on uh, the old school rubbish dump. How awesome. <laughs> Generally doesn't uh, take me long to find the dumps. And there we go, we found it. And there is bottles everywhere, galore. So I suppose, I said 1940s this school ended. So I suppose it would have run up to about the 40s. Oh, he's a little cutie, isn't he awesome? So look, we just hit on a, a bottle dump, a wonderful old bottle dump. That's a perfume. So, <laughs> oh look, I'm not surprised, but here I am also sweating like, oh, sweating like heck. It's got very humid, very thick, very quick. Listen to it, bottles everywhere. We're standing on top of them. I bet if we just clear away the leaves, I just don't want to cut myself. We need the rake, don't we? Look at that. Just bottles everywhere. There's another one of those little white ones. So here we go, we've got a cool old bottle dump. That, uh, look, I wasn't even mean to do this today. Just coming out here for, uh, well, to touch on the school, and here we are. But um, awesome bottle, cologne, aftershave, perfume. Uh, look, this is all part and parcel, it, isn't it? It's gonna paint that picture for the old school once again. Old Heinz. What we're going to have to do though is bring a bucket down here. Because there is just bottles everywhere. 
Oh jeez, I did that awkwardly, didn't I? Look at that. Another little guy sticking out of there. So they're just everywhere. And look, I wouldn't mind spending 10 minutes, you know me, just digging up a few. And we can bring back, what is that? That's a cup handle. We can bring, uh, bring back a few people in future to help dig more. Because look, I'm not greedy. And I've said to a few people uh, that I'll take them de uh, bottle digging because they're yet to do any themselves. And it's a lot of fun. The big guy. And look at that. We can see that AGM castle up the top there near my thumb. He's got a big A and a G and an M in the middle. Stands for Australian Glass Manufacturers. And that castle that was most prevalent from around, well, that castle design, sort of around the 40s, 50s. So let's keep pulling out these awesome little bottles. See what else we can save. He's probably a little ink. And we best turn that detector off. And uh, look, just have a bit of a play. We'll see what we can come back out with. Well, as you've seen, we come out today looking to hit on the old school site, and I think we've done it with the coins. However, I think we've definitely done it with the bottles. Check that lot out. Uh, we've got little Pex jars, little mustard extract bottles. We've got uh, little medicine bottles. We've got cream bottles. We've got perfume, cologne bottles. And uh, we've even got what I think is a Freemason, a Freemason jar at the back there. See that symbol? I reckon that's Freemason symbol. The up and the air, uh, up and down arrow. So. What I was thinking there before was uh, that it was modern rubbish dumping off. We've got the Powerade bottles, the Gatorade bottles, I should say, uh, the Coke bottles. However, this is definitely 100% attached to the school. Uh, so as I said, I retract that statement before. We've even got a bit of asbestos sheeting there we're being very careful about. And we've got the old tin lid uh, with all the bottles and the little toy car. So how cool is he coming out from, uh, from the same thing, from the rubbish dump there? We're not going to be able to ID him, but once again, part of the old school. So also what happened helps indicate that uh, is more of the old ink bottles you can see there we've got another one and we've got the big angus and co ink bottle too which is just awesome so look i think that's about how going to do us for today for here for the bottles for now and uh, we're going to get back onto the coins and see if we can't hit on a few more because i think we were just getting onto the hot spot and then we got distracted didn't we which is uh well commonplace for me and so look we've got more bottles up here too though and that's sort of what i thought there before when i first seen this lot i thought well Someone's just snuck down the back here and dumped off all their modern rubbish within, you know, last few years. Because that's ideally what it looks like. Look, you've got Oasis, Coke bottles, beer bottles. You've got Coke cans and, like, you've got a lot of modern rubbish, really. It's just not that old. There's a cool Coke bottle. Um, but look, underneath this, I dare say, is probably more old rubbish, you know. Uh, the, the, the students would have been coming down to discard all the rubbish, I dare say. Uh, it would have been all the naughty kids' jobs. So under this, I dare say, is probably more rubbish once again, more old bottles. We've just got a ton of it too. So we are going to be back. We are going to be digging again uh, with, in future. I'll bring a few people down here to enjoy it with me though. So dig out this spot. We dig out that spot back where we were and try and hit on those old bottles. And look, one thing about the old school, uh, with the old bottles, you're not going to find old whiskies and beers and all that sort of stuff. It just does not happen. Our kids weren't drinking at school, were they? So a lot of it is going to be inks and medicines and uh, little oil bottles and all that sort of stuff. Look, his little um, Santa's cart. So how yeah, cool. A little seed in him once again. Probably made out of Bakelite. So really cool. What we're going to do now is just fill our hole in. We've got a bit of mess here that we've made. And look, all these bottles I'm not taking today. I'm just going to leave them right here. And uh, when I come back in future with a few uh, few people, a few friends, they can take their pick out of all these because I don't want any of them. I've dug all these uh, time and time and time again. I've got heaps of them at home. So and look, we'll continue digging out this pit. As I said, it goes right out and underneath there. And we've got a bit more going on over the back there. So whew, it is hot. It is very warm. Digging for bottles. Whose idea was that? Well, we're back out of the bush, as you can see. And uh, that was a mission. A mission and a half. We're way down in the depths, right down there. And something I did not just see either, we're back up at the tennis courts now. Something I didn't just see a second ago either. When we followed this little path down there, I must have got too excited. Just followed it away and I must have missed this uh, old dunny here, the old tin shed. So we've got one dunny here. Let's just have a bit of a look myself. We've got one dunny there, the old thunder box. And we've got little basin washer room in the other side. So does not look that old. Probably once again, 50s. Uh, probably put the tennis courts here uh, just after the school uh, got, well, the school got um, demolished or taken away. So, 
Interesting sight though, interesting day and a very hot day. Look how hot and sweaty I am. So we were just right down there in the depths of the bush. Uh, bush. We'll be back there again uh, for future and give it another go. We did get two pennies, a belt buckle, little thrippants, and a ton of bottles, didn't we? So we've had a great day. Let's get back over to the car now and show you exactly what we've got and wrap it up. Alrighty guys, so as you've seen, we've had a ripper of a day, uh, but I tell you what, it's got extremely hot now, especially when now we're back out of the bush, and you can see just how hot it is. So we've got you under the shade of the tree, and as you've seen, we were going in search of a lost school today, a, uh, a property or a site uh, that I've had located on the map and researched for years, I've just never done anything about. Uh, so look, I think with the finds that we've got on the board here, I think that we did nail the old school site. Uh, we first off started to find a, a few bits of rubbish, the old rosella sauce bottle lids and that was okay because that leads you on to occupation or you know there's occupation which will lead you on to the better stuff which be the coins and the bottles and the little belt buckle we can't forget about him so that was our first good find and then as you've seen we moved on to find little half pennies one being a rue and one being a commonwealth a 1935 we just got a date off him before and then we managed to snag what i did not think we'd find here today a little 1942 thrippence so i'm doing shocking a shocking camera work sorry I'm extremely hot and sweating so we've got a heap of little bottles too as you've seen up the back there or way down the depths of the bush we uh, we managed to hit on the bottle pit and I did not think that was going to be possible today you know if someone had to set out go find the bottle pit to this old school in the bush block today uh, within a few hours well I would have said oh I'll see how I go mate uh, but there we go we hit on the bottle dump and not only that we've got the old toothbrush look out Johnson and Johnson we might have to keep this guy in our um, finds pouch and use it to clean up our finds and uh, we've got the little bottles though too and um the, look the little tiny bottle here that i just seen as i was filling the hole in which i grabbed and this double ender bottle so check this out he screws off that end and he screws off that end how cool i've never seen anything like that i mean i've seen a lot of those little bottles with the baker light lids never one that screwed off both ends so I'm quite, uh, well, I'm quite intrigued why. We've got the little white bottles, and generally these are little uh, Pons creams or Vegemite. Not so much Vegemite, they'd be a lot bigger. Uh, but generally they're like little Pons cream or, I say, Avon on the base. But I reckon, well, I reckon they were little ink bottles. And you see there we've got three of them, and there was a few more smashed in the hole. Old school ink bottles makes sense, doesn't it? We've got a few more over the back here, including the old Angus Co. Angus and Ink. They are just awesome. And another one that I can, uh, well, my boss, my old boss's name's Angus. So I might be able to give him to Angus. And he's a five-ouncer. Look out. And we also had the WG or W.G. Hearn and Co. A propriety. And look, I don't have one of these guys. He's WG and H, as you see. WG Hearn. So I don't have one of these guys. I've got a ton of these little brown flask bottles and they're generally chemical bottles. I've got a ton of them at home. However, I don't have this one. WG Hearn, how awesome. Bit of embossing on the side. So anyway, guys, it's been a cracker of a day. We've hit the old school site. We've hit it hard and we've done really well. And next time I get back here, we are going to be bringing back a few friends. And uh, look, they can help me dig out the bottle dump for future and anything they want they can take and keep i know it's not the same if you don't dig it out yourself however there's also a ton of bottles down the back there and they're in the shade they're not in the sun so they're not about to catch fire but they're down the back there and uh, look they'll be there for someone in future as well so next couple of weeks we'll get back here and uh, we'll clean it all up and take those bottles out plus dig some more i really hope you enjoyed we'll see you on the next cheers